Hello everybody, welcome back to Total Aviation. In today's video we will be creating a livery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Before we start you must be familiar with Blender, Photoshop, GIMP and Paint.net. First download Blender at Blender.org, GIMP at GIMP.org, the Blender add-on at GitHub and Megapack Discord the template pack at discord.gg slash megapack. Step 1. Download the template pack from the megapack discord. When you go to it, should be this. And go to template pack install and you want to go to current version 8 and you download here. Once you've done that, you download the Blender add-on that is GitHub slash Bastani. It should be like this. Go to code, download zip. When you've done that, step three, open Blender and import the add-on. So you want to open Blender. What you want to do is to select all of these and click delete. Then you want to go into file, go to file, import, Go to go to file. Hello everybody. Just importing the add-on into Blender. What you want to go is you want to go into Edit Preferences Add-ons Install where you saved it go install add-on and then you go into here msfs and make sure it took enable all fresh and done you want to go to the ground caravan model 00 import and there we are so what you want to do is hide unwanted objects so you want to go type in fuse large and go shift h now you have the few large there then you want to go to texture paint then you want to go to hull add textures base color now you want to call this something you want to call this i'm going to leave it as whole base color just to make it easy and then this, you want to keep this, this you want to change it to 2, right, you want to change it to 4096 to 4096, then you want to go white and go OK, that one's changed a few large to white. To show your image here, you go base color and you zoom out to show it here. So what you want to do is adjust. You want to go F, F, move in. That's okay. And what this will do is you want to change your color. So you go down here and go red and just make your livery so a caravan goes on the x-axis the x-axis and as you can see as you're drawing on the livery it is painting it is painting on this side over here I'm just going to make this as a Christmas theme because it's Christmas by the time I'm filming this. And you see, it doesn't completely because it's only the x axis. You see, you would do underneath the colours that you would want. But as you can see, you get it as a complete red plane. 
you can do the base color as that as well but if I wanted to go I wanted to add some of a festive green in. and if you go F maybe bring the mouse out and in and press to do straight lines what you want to do is go to the top straight across go to stroke line fold off and then you want to go, you click and you drag to the point and you click again and that will draw a line from there to there as you can see that is done it as we expected and to turn it back you want to go to line and space to get back and then you can go inside the line and what that does, it gives us a green line. So I'm just going to go into the line again. Go from, going to make it smaller. Go to left. And what you can do, as you can see, it's repeating like we wanted it to. You can move the camera around. You have to get used to Blender. It's a good thing to get used to. As you can see there, that was actually quite a nice Christmas livery already. So as you want, you keep on adding, changing, making it a more Christmassy look. And we're also going to be adding, I'm going to show you how to do texture painting or stencils. But as you can see, I'm just going to make it Christmassy. But as you can see, so guys, you want to make sure its colour is on white. Okay, you want to make sure it's on white, and then you go, and then you go down here, go where it says texture, texture, go stencil, and as you can see, you move it, press control, press shift, and move your mouse around, and you move it to where you want it, and as you can see, oops, create a network, logo is on the aircraft and it is on both sides as the symmetry is on open it up and as you can see there let me just make it as you can see there is a little TA logo and the TA logo is there on both sides but remember you would change that next when you finished your livery this is just a tutorial so it's not going to be what it actually looks like when you've done this, you next want to you want to go to image and go to save or save as. So image, save as, videos file, blender, base color, Xmas, save as image. Next, you want to go into GIMP. Go. Go in and go GIMP. Open GIMP. Next, you want to go to Open. Open. Go into your document, video file, whole piece, and open as that. And there you have it. It's imported. So next, just import now. Very nice. Okay, now we're going to go into the video file go into your templates go here sim objects aeroplanes template and you want to go texture and it's going to be this one here you want to copy this, copy that, go into GIMP here, open as layers, very important you open as layers, and there. click enter, top form, open. Now, when it comes up with this load DTS, when you did this, 
you are going to go step and you want to uncheck those bitmaps and go okay. next you want to go layer scale layer and basically do a power of 2 on that which will be 1496 and go scale as you can see we've covered it you want to change the layers to multiply as you can see there is our colour all works ok after you've done this part as you can see that is the same file we had in next after you put multiply out oh, and then you want to go export export as now you want to export it first export it or export you want to export as a png then you want to open it back up in GIMP and then you want to replace it as that file name. Once you've done this so go into open recent go up open your PNG open PNG is already opened as you can see it's PNG. Next you want to go you want to go export as you want to find your documents you want to find the folder I called it video file you want to go into that folder community texture export replace compressions you want to compression it to d x t 1 d x t 1 and you want to generate mitmaps and go export and basically what that's done that has changed from x c f from GIMP's file format to PNG and then back to DTS and it's very useful when you've done this you'll need either you can go close now and as you can see it's been replaced into that file so you load it into your game and you've seen there's D cows. You want to get rid of this by it going into your texture, finding your decal. You want to open it, you want to open it and uncheck like a human. If not, you may want to zoom in automatically and go. When you've done that, you want to go export, export as, or replace the same again, export and as you can see, it has now been fixed. And you should load into the game with no decals at all. So this has been making delivery, getting to the importing stage of creating delivery you would want to rename it before you want to import it into your game okay next what you want to do is you want to go to backup and you want to rename this so what I'm gonna call it is Xmas delivery I'm going to call it Xmas Livery TA and I'm going to copy it. Once you rename that, you're going to open your aircraft file. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to see where it says template. So you want to go title and you want to Xmas Livery TA. Then, you want to go your texture, it's your texture, and paste it back in there again. Next, you want next you want to change all of your template to ADC Airline. In ADC Airline, you want to name it uh, 
Let's go mid here. TA. Anywhere you see template, you want to call it TA for example. There we go. Wherever it says TA, you want to change it. Next, you want to save it. So go to save them when that's done. And then you want to go back. Close it. Next, you want to go back to your livery template and go layout. You want to open your layout and simply go. And you want to go save and you want to close let's click after renaming all that you can go back and now go next my celebrity and if you want you can go a created by created by total Aviation and go say so basically what you've done You can do it. And you want to go save as well and get close. Basically, after all that you have officially renamed your aircraft you have created livery renamed the folders and you are about to import into game so this is the most exciting part hello everybody welcome back now we're getting ready to import into the game. Now, what we're going to do is is this we need to copy. Go back to video file in here, community, and paste. Now. We're going to load into Microsoft Okay everybody, once you have loaded into the game, you're going to go to Profile, My Hangar, Change Aircraft, go to Caravan, go to Liveries, and you can see TA. And as you can see, it loads into game. As I want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share. And a Merry Christmas from the team at Jack Plane and Total Aviation. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon.